On a quiet evening in the park, Dog Day sat patiently, watching the stars twinkle above. Will they come today? I hope they do. A rustle in the bushes catches Dog Day's attention. Sunshine. Emerging from the shadows, Catnap waves calmly, a small smile on their face. Hey, Dog Day! Excited, Dog Day jumps to their feet, a big grin lighting up their face. Kitty, you're finally here! Dog Day couldn't contain their excitement as they ran toward Catnap, heart full of joy. Kitty, I missed you so much! In a warm embrace, the two friends reunited, feeling the comfort of each other's presence. Missed you too, Sunshine. Dog Day leaned in with a playful gesture, their happiness shining brightly. Dog Day, you're so full of surprises. Come now! I want to show you many things. Okay, Sunshine. Your hands are so cold. Damn, his hands look as strong. <gasps> ah! Oh, I'm so glad everyone could make it. The preparation is nearly complete, and then we can have our Halloween party. Oh, great! Great! We brought a pumpkin cake. Oh, it looks too fluffy and sweet. Yummy! It's perfect to go ahead and set it down on the living room table over there. We already have lots of snacks for everyone. Oh, those look great! Rib are done. Ribs are done. Perfect. Now all that's left is the chicken. Is everyone ready for costumes and makeup? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, everyone. Come over and choose costumes, and I'll help with makeup. Can I just be a ghost? Maybe a mummy? Sure, I could do that. Well, uh, and not too much, please. Sure, I will just make a little ghost. Thank you. Have any plans for what your costume is going to be? Ah, uh, not yet. What about you? Maybe I'll be a sleepy little vampire bat. Did someone say? Vampire bat! Yeah! <laughs> well, this looks like a good, clean, and wholesome Halloween party. So how about we crash it? Ah! Oh no! Help! <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't touch. Can't you see these colors? Ah! Oh, you want to try me, kitty kitty? Guys, 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 guys! Look, there's enough to go around. We don't mind making new friends. Man, shut up, dog! Ah! Ah! We came here with one goal. Crash your stupid party. Turn out these stupid lights. And take these delectable treats for yours truly. Ha, 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 ha! Oh, this bear's got some bite. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's blow this joint. Hey, dog, say cheese. W what? Trick or treat, smiley idiots. Ha ha ha. Who are those guys? <laughs> oh, a new cafe. I wonder if it's any good. Morning Woodlands Cafe. What's up? Love come to sample your finest and strongest drinks. <laughs> what? Gasp! Pressy, is that you? You work here? Yeah. I started working here only about a week and... Well, why didn't you say so? Want to take a quick break and have lunch with me? Awesome! You know what, like... Sure. I... I'll get us some drinks and snacks. Can you put me down now? Go ahead and grab a booth you like and I'll be right over. Or I could just pull you over the counter! Please don't. Can spend the wool day with my bestest blue buddy! Or... You can let me go, and I'll buy you the strongest drink we have here. Deal! All right. I'll meet you at the booth in a moment. All right. Have my apron off. And my boss said I could stay out a bit longer so long as it's slow. Nice! So you seem to be liking this place. I've never seen you smile so much. Um, it's kind of part of the uniform. I have to make sure Vertical Bar keep a warm demeanor for the customers. But honestly, I'm kind of used to it. Well, cheers to your new job! 
So what did you get this time? How did you get his time? I got a honey lavender milk tea. How's your black death tea? Oh, it tastes great. A little bitter, but really tasty. Wanna try a taste? Might help you wake up. Um, sure. I suppose I could... What do you think? Tastes like liquid panic attack. <gasps> no, no, no. If you say so. Maybe the next month. How do you even drink that without getting so shaky or, you know? At least you'll be awake for the next week or two. I don't know. Cat fiend has never really affected me. One just like how this stuff it tends to taste. Maybe you should get that checked. Ha! Sure. I'll get it checked at some point. So, when are we going to get together again and paint those cute little figures? I had a lot of fun with those last time. Zero O. Oh. I suppose we could later tonight or tomorrow. Sweet! Besides, you seem to like it a lot, and seeing you smile always makes my day. So keep up the good work. But thank you. Nighty nighty. It's my Hi. chance. Okay. I just have to get closer and say hello. Catnap, let's be friends. No better not. Catnap and Dong Day switch bodies with each other. Guys! Is that Catnap? It's me, Dog Day. Dog Day's tail won't stop wagging. <laughs> Catnap! Wake up! I can't control this gas! Cat... Calm down. If you are nervous, more gas will come out. Wow, you look amazing today. Oh, thank you. You're making me blush. I just can't help it. You're so cute. You're too sweet. Maybe you want a little closer? You, um... Yeah, maybe. Perfect! Just like this. Hey, I could get used to this. Hey, Kicken, want a chicken sandwich? Uh, not really. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> chicken chicken sandwich. sandwich! Huh? Wait, hat shouldn't work. I am welcome supports the to the group that prototype and his ideals ah uh, a mistake there must be I am neutral I am not on the side of 1006 or poppy I only and my friends protect play care from the attacks of other toys those are heretics also welcome there must be a mistake there is not if you are here it is because you unconsciously or secretly support our God what um I don't think so also I don't know how I got here, but it's great to see others like me. Oh, that word again. But I didn't think they were the same as my catnap. They're not heretics. They're just confused. Oh, they're just looking for food. I really don't know. I was just trying to keep my friends safe from them. How do you do that? Well, sometimes I, I tried my best to reason with them, but it's myself just had to defend myself. What do you think about the prototype? I don't know. Understand I can him well when he speaks. So Catnap translates what he means for me. So far, I've only heard him protect Catnap and my friends from the Rebel Toys attacks of other Rebel Toys. Rebel Toys? Don't you mean heretics? Oh, so of you hurt the heretics, that means you participated in the Hour of the Joy. Hmm, not really. Explain yourself. The company employees hurt me so much that I lost consciousness. When I woke up, Catnap explained to me what happened, so I missed that hour that you mentioned. I don't even know what happened to the children that... to protect at that time. We captured some ex-employees who are still hiding in the factory. Well, technically, I am in charge of capturing them. <coughs> Catnap is the one who punishes them. Does it heretics bother you to kill heretics? You shouldn't feel bad you are doing the right thing. You are helping our god. Surely we're still those employees unconscious took them while you... However, if there was a second chance, you would do it, right? Yes, imagine eliminating those who hurt us and want to hurt us. Attacking those who hurt us? Well, technically, that is what we are still doing. Why would I be called like that? Because you sound almost like one of them for your way of not wanting to support their cause. Do you mean kill and destroy? I don't like doing it, but if I must keep my friends safe, I will attack whoever dares to want to hurt them. Besides, he doesn't seem to be upset with my actions, especially when he helped catnap. I know it's necessary for defense and for our freedom, but we didn't go. I mean, I wasn't created for that. So starting to attack and eliminate these heretics becomes something drastic for me. 
Despite everything you went through, you still doubt wanting to eliminate those who hurt you? I'm surprised you're not labeled as a heretic. So you also held Moonlight? And tell me what do you feel about him? Eh, mm, I'm just his friend and we should only help each other. You help your catnap and our god is pleased with your actions. I think it's clear why you're here with us. You see, you're not neutral. You unconsciously support his ideals. Keeping your catnap safe and eliminating rebellious toys is a help to the prototype's ideals. It seems you just need some time to adapt. <laughs> I'm neutral. I only focus on saving my friends and keeping Playcare safe, and that's all. Besides, Catnap finds it funny to bother me with the red smoke. I already told him to avoid that, but he never listens. I present to you, my Mini Moon, a gift from my Moonlight. Ooh, wait, wait, does Moonlight use the red smoke on you too? Uh, excuse me? This plush is the one who has guided me to serve our god and the path of heresy. Avoid the path of Harist. It looks like a mini critter, I hope that doesn't release the red smoke. Do you have a problem with the red smoke? Does it make you fall asleep quickly? You are free to believe whatever you want, but why does your catnap use the red smoke on you? Is he preventing you from becoming a heretic? What, no? Catnap uses it to calm me down from my panic attacks. Oh, your panic attacks were caused by those employees who hurt you? Tell me, where are you from? Are your friends still by your side? Or did they abandon you? When catnap uses that smoke on me, it makes me have horrible nightmares. Where of hate I attack my friends like I have a lot, and everything feels like I have a lot of hate. Plus, I tend to lose control of time. I don't know if I'm asleep or awake anymore. In fact, right now, seeing you two, it's clear that I'm sleeping, or I lost my mind. So your friends abandoned you? If they didn't agree with you or the prototype, and that made them leave you, then they automatically became heretics. Friends don't matter what matters is what makes my god happy. And if he asks me to make friends, then that's what I'll do. I do have my friends, and our god freed us from oppression, so if it's obvious that they, they go against our savior, don't deserve to be my friends. You guys really sound like him? Please stop. I don't like my friends being called like that. Maybe they had their reasons for leaving me. Well, if they don't follow our savior's orders or broke his rules, it's normal for them to be labeled as heretics. For me, there's no problem in eliminating that false friendship. What? He's right. But if you're uncomfortable losing them, I can teach you how to re-educate them so they'll stay with you forever. I think be better if I look for catnap. <laughs>